Mr. Solomon, why don't you sit in the bedroom for a few minutes so we can talk? Certainly, whatever you say. Only please, you made a very nice deal. You got no right to be ashamed. Excuse me, I don't mean to be personal. That's fantastic. Why don't you go inside? I'm going. I only want you to understand, Victor, that if it was a different kind of man, I would say to you that he's got the money in his hand, so the deal is concluded. You can't conclude anything without me, Solomon. I'm half owner here. You see? What did I ask you the first thing I walked in here? Who is the owner? Why do you confuse everything? I'm not well, how do you pay. come to interfere? He's got the money. I know the law. Now you stop being foolish. Just stop it. I have got the best lawyers in New York, oh, so you go inside. Take it easy, Walter. Down. Come on. Cut it out. Why? He's right. Look, why don't you hang on to this money? No, that's yours. You hold. Oh, oh. Are you all right? Uh, I'm just a little tired. I didn't have my nap today. I need a nap. See? Hi, I'm Mike Menendian, co-artistic director at Raven Theatre and the director of The Price by Arthur Miller. I'm personally very, very fond of uh, Arthur Miller's body of, of work and, and this is a play that I've been wanting to do for a long time. The story of The Price is very simple. It takes place in uh, the attic of an old uh, brownstone in New York in the mid-60s. The building is going to be uh, torn down by the city uh, for new development. So two brothers who have not seen each other in a number of years and are now middle-aged have to meet to divide up all the belongings that have been stored in the attic for a long time before they tear the building down. And you find out that one brother ha is a New York policeman, the other brother is a successful surgeon, and they both went their separate ways and just simply stopped communicating with each other. And during the course of the play you find out why they stopped communicating, what was the tension between them that, that caused such a rift in their relationship. The challenge of the play is where uh, you hope to be able to present both sides of the coin equally. Two brothers have a very, very opposing views on how they made the choices, why they made the choices they did to go their separate ways. Uh, my name is Chuck Spencer and I play the role of Victor Franz. Uh, in uh, in the, the play The Price. Um, uh, Victor is the one of the brothers that has to have the responsibility of selling um, all of this furniture that has been piled up. He's a New York City policeman and I think the essence of this play is I think what Arthur Miller is he's presenting two different arguments. Do we take care of our fellow men uh, or do we look out for number one? Do we just look out for ourselves? And I think he presents valid viewpoints and arguments on both sides. My character is the individual who takes care of someone else uh, and and the price that he has to pay and the responsibility that that cost him. It's an interesting play, it's been an interesting process uh, and uh, I really uh, in, I've really enjoyed it. I'm John Steinhagen and I'm playing Walter Franz who is Victor's elder brother, a successful surgeon at one time since he's been uh, just coming out of a, a nervous breakdown for which he was hospitalized for at least three years. Um, he shows up rather unexpectedly to the event as Victor has been trying to give him some heads up as to what's going on, the appraisal, and Walter has not returned his calls. When Walter does finally show up, it's at a crucial moment of the transaction and he, I guess you could say he throws a bit of a monkey wrench into the proceedings. I'm Joanne Montemiro. I play Esther Franz, and um, my character is frustrated with her husband because he could be retired now and start to live on a pension and maybe get into something he want, wanted to do all his life, which was science, and that he didn't go into, but he's stuck and he can't make up his mind about what he wants to do, so she's frustrated. And I think of all the Miller characters that I've played, I think that Esther is the most liberated one in the more modern world as opposed to like Linda Lohman or or some of the other characters B and View from the Bridge who are more like the old-fashioned kind of woman. I think that Esther's sort of going towards more the more modern. I'm Leonard Kraft and I'm essaying the role of Gregory Solomon in Raven's production of The Price. Gregory Solomon is a survivor. He's nearly got killed a couple of times. He lived in six different countries. He was in the British Navy, married four times, had a daughter who committed suicide, and now lives 
in the back of his store, which he has cleaned out uh, with a hot plate. His job, he thinks, is to pick a few nice pieces um, that might have some value, but he realizes early on that Victor doesn't want to bargain. He doesn't want Solomon to pick a few pieces. He wants Solomon to take the whole lot. I'm enjoying uh, portraying Gregory Solomon. I've long wanted to do it, so it's quite a joy to me to be able to do it now. If we are going to forge our own uh, path in this world, um, what is the price we pay for either choice? I hope that the audience can walk away saying, what would I have done if I were in their shoes?